In this video, I'm going to show you how to get a DEM file out of Equator and turn it into a slope map in QGIS. The first thing we're going to do is go to the data menu and click on the elevation products. Here we can see which polygons represent QL1, 2, 3, and other. I'm going to find a QL1 zone here. I'll choose this one near Phoenix. And I'll zoom into a location that I want to get a DEM from. I'm going to zoom in, and once I've found my location, I'll choose this hill here. What I'm going to do is select the product I want in the left-hand side. I'll click Digital Elevation Model, and then click the plus for a site location. Now I will position where I would like the DEM file, and press OK. Now again on the left, I will click Generate, and the DEM file will process for us. Once the DEM is processed, it will load into the map like so. The next step is going to be to go into the left-hand menu and click on the download button under the DEM one foot resolution. Here's some options we can choose from, but for this case, I'm going to select the defaults and click process. The file will download and it'll appear once it's done. Now that we've got the file, we can switch over to QGIS first thing we're going to do in QGIS is add the DEM to the map. Go Layer, Add Layer, Add Raster Layer, and then I'll click the three dots beside Raster Datasets and select the one that I just downloaded. Click Add, and then OK, and Close. Now, since the DEM has already been hole filled, the only thing I need to do is go up into the processing toolbar, click on toolbox, and now here I'm going to type in slope. You see raster terrain analysis slope, this is the one we're after. All of the defaults are selected correctly, we've got the right layer, the correct Z factor, I'm just going to click run, and once it's done, we have a slope map. This can be done on any DEM file and any DEM file that is taken out of Equator already has the holes filled. Thanks for watching, I hope you learned something, and enjoy Equator.